Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am the Sipping Tea and today I'm going to talk to you about the Cold War T72 Ural Heavy Premium Tank. So without further delay, let's get into it. So the T72 Ural Premium Heavy Tank is an Era 2 tank. It has been in the uh, in Cold War for quite some time now uh, and was made available in a relatively recent uh, season pass. So those who bought that season pass will no doubt already have this tank and have been able to enjoy playing it. However, for those of you who do not have this tank, the maximum price for this tank is 10,000 gold, which is just about in the sweet spot as far as I'm concerned for the price of Era 2 Cold War tanks. Um, I think that is a, you know, a relatively fair price. Uh, jumping straight into the battle earn rates, this tank gets a bonus 50% extra silver earn rate, 10% extra tank XP earn rate, and 25% extra crew XP earn rate, making it reasonably good for silver and also quite good for training crews, as the extra 25% is a bit higher than your average tank. From there let's move on to the gun characteristics and statistics so uh, with your regular rounds they have 372 millimeters of penetration and the premium rounds the swindle rounds have 420 millimeters of penetration both of those different types of rounds boasting 550 damage alpha, which is pretty decent, I would say. Um, on top of that, uh, going into the rate of fire, again, a quick reminder that this is completely stock bare, no um, crew skills equipment or anything else influencing this. Rate of fire is 5.45 rounds per minute. The reload time is 11 seconds. The aim time is 2.1 seconds and the accuracy is 0 0.37. So uh, accuracy there lacking, quite frankly. This is not a... Um, a particularly accurate tank so you don't want to really be uh, shooting at long distances with uh, with this tank as uh, you're not likely to be hitting where you want to hit going on from there um, the gun depression of this tank is six degrees and the elevation is 14 so classic Russian or Soviet tank I mean it's um, it's not got much gun depression but nonetheless six degrees is well obviously better than five degrees which is sort of a, a standard really for this kind of tank so not great but not the worst um, but certainly you'll notice that lack of gun depression certainly I have had a few rather frustrating slash embarrassing moments um, due to the uh, lack of gun depression the view range of this tank is 445 meters, so nothing too special there for Cold War. Um, still concealment, 0 0.09. So again, that's not amazing, but you know it is a big heavy tank, so it's it's not too bad, all things considered. The HP, 2,350. So. That's reasonable for a uh, an Era 2 tank. I think the highest uh, HP you get in Era 2, just thinking off the top of my head anyway, um, 3000, the FV4211 is uh, coming to mind. I can't at this moment think of a tank that has more. So, you know, it's 650 HP short of that, but it's a very different type of tank. It is considerably quicker than the FV4211, for instance, bringing us nicely on to the top forward speed of this tank is 60 kilometers per hour, and the reverse speed is 18 kilometers an hour. The engine has a 12% chance of catching fire, so um, again, as I've mentioned with previous tanks with 12%, it's it's not the standard 10% or as I see to be the standard 10% um, 
uh, it is of course marginally higher than that. So whether or not you would want to run a fire extinguisher or otherwise negate some of that risk by getting um, preventive maintenance, you know, crew skill to uh, put out or prevent fires, um, it's entirely up to you of course, but you know, something to keep in mind. It is a Russian vehicle, therefore of course they are dipped in kerosene before going out to battle. They love streaking across the map in a fireball. So that sort of brings us nicely to the end of the main statistics for this tank. Um, I personally think this tank is actually quite good. Um, I've had some pretty decent games in it myself, though admittedly uh, I haven't had an enormous amount of games. Um, I don't have the exact number to, to hand, but I think it's between 30 and 40 games, which uh, in the grand scheme of things really isn't a lot. So uh, yeah, you know, take that as you will. Um, the turret armor is reasonably good, it does bounce reasonably well, and I dare say most of us have probably had the experience of uh, bouncing off this tank um, in relatively recent time when there's been so many of them uh, in the game due to the uh, due to that season pass which was just throwing them about willy-nilly. Um, certainly I've had that experience where I've bounced off them and uh, feel like maybe I've been a little bit shortchanged, um, you know, not deserving the, uh, <laughs> the, the, the bounce. Uh, but yeah, it's it's decent, it's manoeuvrable as well, it handles somewhat similarly to some uh, medium tanks, so yeah, not a bad tank all round. The equipment that I use, I use gun stabilizer, I use um, the vents as well, and also advanced loader. That is my sort of default loadout for a lot of tanks, um, I know that a lot of people um, well, we all have our own personal preferences, of course. Some people love going for anything that will boost the engine speed. Um, so, you know, you do you, of course. Uh, you know, a lot of people like the uh, uh, traction system and advanced powertrain. Me, I feel like this tank does reasonably well in that regard anyway. So I would much rather help reduce that reload time and also try and help the tank's lack of accuracy as best as possible and so with that being said regarding the equipment I use much the same sort of uh, standard uh, commander skills um, as mentioned in a previous video I think I'll probably uh, refrain from going through in detail about the commander skills as it's more or less always the same but yeah reducing reload and increasing accuracy you can't go wrong with that that's going to be near as damn it universally um, beneficial for any tank you play. It's at this point in the video that I want to just quickly issue a reminder that I do have a Twitch channel now, so the link for that is in the description. Uh, I will also post a, uh, a short video here on YouTube whenever I go live on Twitch just so that you get a, uh, a notification uh, hopefully on your on your phone a push notification saying the sifting tea is live head over to twitch uh, please do follow me on twitch and that should actually uh, also send you a notification when i go live um, also to be found in the description is the uh, link to my patreon page um, once again i'm going to issue my heartfelt thanks to tragic nemesis for supporting me on patreon once again it is truly truly appreciated um, just to let you all know what i have done with the money that um, tragic nemesis has donated to me i have now upgraded uh, my video editing software so I've got a few extra bells and whistles with my editing software which will hopefully help improve the quality of my videos uh, going forward so once again thank you ever so much to Tragic Nemesis for supporting me on Patreon and please if anyone else can uh, I appreciate globally the times are times are quite hard for, for most of us right now so of course if you can't donate then I completely understand I really do um, and of course thank you for for watching and subscribing and supporting me in the way that you can even if it isn't uh, through monetary terms 
just thank you for, for being here and watching my videos. Moving on from that little self-promotion, if you will, um, I would say that the uh, consumables on here, once again, you can see that they are my, uh, my sort of basic um, crew or basic consumables. Um, there's uh, nothing really for, for me to shout about here because as you can see, no doubt to some of your horror, I am not using premium consumables on this tank. Uh, again, I have got just the basic repair kit, basic med kit and basic fire extinguisher. Now, that I suspect really, or I think really is more just down to me not playing this tank quite so much. Um, as some of the other ones, uh, I mean, I've already referenced the FE4211. I have played that considerably more than this one, but then I've owned it for one as well. I would say that um, really this tank would benefit, of course, from a premium repair kit. Uh, the fire extinguishers I mentioned towards the start of this video, I think really, like of all um, of all consumables here. I think that could be uh, the piece to be sacrificed if necessary, maybe um, for a patch kit instead, just to give you uh, a bit of your HP back uh, when you are duking it out amongst the enemy players. Well, I think that rounds us off nicely for this video. That is a lot of information for the T-72 Ural. Um, it's a, uh, a well, a, a Russian tank, an Eastern Alliance tank. It was requested a few weeks ago that I um, I do a video on the uh, the Russian tanks as uh, they're much loved by a lot of uh, the community here. Um, I know that maybe that might have been suggesting uh, more to take a look at the tech tree tanks. I will get around to the tech tree tanks, of course. Uh, I've already done some tech tree tanks. I think in the future what I may do is actually do a series on um, a specific tank line. So, for example, I may just do um, all of the, uh, the leopard tanks in one go, including the premiums, but I'll focus, say, on the... Uh, um, the tech tree tanks first. Uh, I'm currently working on the Leopard line. Um, I'm, I'm up to the uh, Leopard 2A4, so I'm nearly there. Um, so yeah, you can expect that and other things similar to it in future. Once again, a very quick reminder regarding uh, please do subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Tell your friends about the channel as well if you think they'd like it. If each and every one of you um, tell a friend that isn't already subscribed to the channel about the channel, then, well, if they do subscribe, I'll double in size uh, for um, subscriptions. We're currently up to 55 subscribers. This channel has grown so quickly. Um, it's been going for about a month now and 55 subscribers in a month. I, I, I'm so grateful. I'm, I'm humbled by that. I really just didn't think uh, for a moment that this channel would uh, be that successful so quickly. Um, so yes, thank you ever so much for subscribing. Please do hit the like button and uh, as always leave a comment down below if you have any feedback at all that you would like uh, to share, positive or negative, because I'm always looking to improve. By no means am I uh, an expert at this. I am muddling my way through and improving as I go, hopefully. Um, but yeah, even just say hi. Uh, I'll happily have a conversation with you in the comments section. Also, a brief reminder about my Twitch account. The link is in the description. Hit the follow button. You'll get notified when I go live. I'm going to try and go live a little bit more frequently now, at least twice a week. But yeah, with that being said, thank you ever so much for watching. And I'll catch you next time.